Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to see how to cut your own skins. Alright, so the process itself is super easy. You only need a few things and you can do it at home. All we need is, first off, skins. Then we need a razor or a cutter. A lighter. And a ruler. Let's go. So the important thing for your skins is to get them long enough for your skis and especially wide enough. They have to cover the entire base. In my case I am cutting skins that are from another ski, but the other the older ski was wider than the new one, so I can reuse them. Alright guys, so the first step is to hook the front part of the skin to your ski and start pulling. As you can see, the skin is the correct length and we could just clip in it. Okay, now to the next part. We're going to apply the skin again, only it will have one millimeter more on one side than on the other. Okay, so it's not going to be perfectly centered. It'll be a little bit offset. Here, you can see a little of the skin. On the other side, cannot see the skin. When you have a skin that is wider than your ski, it's useful to have the ruler because you can measure one millimeter here and one millimeter here so that you know if it's off center or not. Remember, you need it to be one millimeter or two off center. Okay, so the next step is to use your blade or your cutter and go along the length of the ski. Every time you have to cut, remember, measure twice, you cut once. Before cutting, remember to put up your brakes. This makes it much easier to cut, so you can cut in one nice movement, not in two. Here we go. And try to make it in a smooth and steady motion. And this is what we got. We trimmed one side of the skin. All right, so now what we're gonna do is remove the skin. And remember when I told you before that it had to be off-center? Well, now it has to be off-center again, but to the other side. And instead of using one or two millimeters, we're gonna use the edge and the base. Okay guys, so as you can see, I left two edges. I measured how wide my edge is, which here would be two millimeters. And added two millimeters to the other side. So. We're showing two edges here, and now it's time to cut this side with a blade. You start from the back and at an angle. Okay, now on to the finishing touch. Remove the skin once again, and this time we're gonna place it on the ski very opposite. Just like that. So as you can see, there's no ski underneath here. What we do with this is now, you get your lighter, and remove all the extra hair that might have been cut up. We do this like this, so we don't damage the ski with the fire. Once you have your first skin trimmed, it's just about the same for the second one. Remember, the steps are, first, place your skin on your ski with one millimeter of offset. Next, trim along the line from the back. Remove the skin again and place it, showing two edges on the side you just cut. Remember, measure twice, cut once. So you have two edges on one side and none on the other. And then you cut again. Once you've cut both sides, you remove the skin, remove all the extra hair that might have been cut up. Okay guys, as you can see, I trimmed both my skins and came out pretty well. Don't worry if it doesn't come out perfect. You only need a little bit of the edges coming out and the rest will help you for traction. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment of how, how it helped you or if I did something wrong.